Although many of their bones have been found in California, Smilodon roamed freely through both North and South America. Smilodon is often compared to a modern lion. It was roughly the same size, but it had a very different build. Imagine a lion on steroids. This is a hugely powerful animal. It is muscular beyond Arnie Schwarzenegger's wildest dreams. Smilodon was about the size of a lion, but wouldn't have looked like one. The body proportions and probably the gait and a lot of the behavior would be more similar to a black bear than it would be to a lion. It's got massive uh, arms and forearms, a massive chest, relatively sort of short, stout back legs. Um, it's got massive grappling hooks on its thumbs. The muscles of the neck were also much bigger than a modern cat's, implying that Smilodon had a savage bite. The whole package is purpose-built to grapple with, you know, close and personal with big, dangerous animals and pull them down. Scientists can calculate Smilodon's build from the fossils, but it's much harder to know what Smilodon's skin and fur would have looked like. Based on modern cats, their coats could have had various markings designed to give them the best possible hunting camouflage for their environment. And it seems unlikely that they lived up to their nickname of saber-toothed tigers and had stripes. If these animals had any kind of pattern on their fur, it probably was more like spots. The stripes just don't necessarily fit into the type of habitat that we had here at Rancho La Brea. A quick glance at the saber-toothed skeleton also reveals some other telltale clues as to how Smilodon lived. Its short bobtail means it was not much of a runner. Modern cats, even big ones like lions, use their long tails for balance and turning during high-speed pursuit. Smilodon just didn't have that capability because of the shortness of its tail. This animal obviously was doing something completely different from modern feline cats.